All right, so today we're gonna be installing the lithium grade charger. Uh, that's what this one's supposed to be. It's just rated for lithium, sorry, I was checking down. This is the information I have on it for what it is. Um, one over here that's that's the only thing I have um, oh, let me see if I'll lift this up because it has more information on, on it itself wow sorry guys hold on one second no nope, but it's like like it for what's on there so I can always get a screenshot of what I have. So I'm gonna take the one that's in here. This is, this is what I have now. 89.55 pack. And this is just a 89.55. This one's supposed to be good for lithium batteries. That's that's what I was told when I checked on it. So she will take this one out put this one in and this one is just for lithium so this is not one that you can switch back and forth it's just strictly for lithium charging only so um i'll get some readings in a minute of what this one charges at actually we did if you look at my other video you'll see it, it was a uh, 13.4 is when it stopped charging so we'll take a look at that and i'll do some readings once we get the panel off and look inside here uh but one thing i got to do before i do anything else right now well, I can do I guess I can unscrew some of this thing and take it off and take a look at it so let's do that part first and then uh, we'll get going all right so now I got it set up and I just want to see what's coming in so I got it on the ground here and I'm gonna put on what should be the 30 amp so that's the power coming in I got 119 and I'll go across to the neutral in the ground 120 okay good and all my other ones should have power now if i turn this one off i should lose power on these down here yep all right that's what i expected with that on uh i should be able to go to dc I hope my head's not too much in the way that whole time, sorry. And we should be able to check power over here. So, should have one here. Right, is that, let's see. Oh, I need to move this so you guys can see it, sorry. We'll check lug here, and look here. 13.66, so that's good. All right, and what do we get from red to red? 13.66 good okay so uh the next step is i gotta disconnect the battery and disconnect the power uh from the house so that's what i'm gonna do next okay at this point i've unplugged the camper i disconnected the battery and i have the power disconnect uh in the off position so now uh, DC volts over here. Let's check them. See what we got. It's reading milliamps, so there's nothing on there. So, okay. Make sure we're in the right function. Yep, that's DC. Now we'll go to AC. Check over here. Ground to my. Make sure I get on it this time if it's in there. Okay. And I got zero there too. So that's what I was looking for. All right. So. All the power has been removed. One thing I wanted to make sure was that there was no power feeding from the battery on the coach to this at all. And I don't I don't see any at all. Let's go back to uh there. Double check that one. Yeah, it's reading milliamps there. So because if I got 85, whoo! Woo! woo it's got 85 volts coming through the 12 volt system man i got bigger problems so all right 
that's where we're at now. Next, I'm going to start unscrewing these bottom screws to slide this out and start disconnecting it. Okay, so what I got now is I just undid the two screws, slid it out. I've got three wires over here. I got a black going to the 30 amp power, or I'm sorry, to the 15 amp fuse just below the 30. Uh, I have uh, a white wire going up here and a green wire going to ground. On this side, I have a red and a white going up to the top two over here. So um, with two, those two disconnected, it should just slide out and the new one slides in. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right, so I just want to let you know, I did undo this wire um, just so that uh, I could remove this easier to get the wires out from behind it, from the panel that goes in here. So now I'm going to reinstall it the other way and connect it back up. Okay, so I have it all connected now, put back in. One thing I did run into is that this screw lined up but this one did not. It's like just off the edge here. It's right there. Um, it's in the slot where it should be, but it just didn't line up. So um, I have the battery disconnected over here still. So that's not connected. It shouldn't want to charge. And now it's time to turn the power on. All right, so I connected the camper. I have the battery disconnected. And it's not bolted up yet. I'll do that in a second. What I'm going to do is I will turn off the breaker to uh, the charger and just turn on the 30 amp and make sure. And there goes that. So that's all set. Um, I should be able to turn that on and nothing happens right now. And that's what I expected. So I'll turn it back off. And I'll connect the battery and we'll go through that. So turn that back off and we're all set. Okay, so I got the battery connected. I got the power on. I'm going to turn power down there's on. Power down there's on now. Should be connected. So now we'll just have to check and see that we're getting power everywhere as we should be. So, let's see. Okay, so we got DC there. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. So for DC over here, 13.75 is coming through that now. 13.75. Okay, we had 13.4 before, so that's good. It's, I mean, it's raised it up for sure. 13.75. So it's definitely, it's definitely going to a higher rate than it was before. So now let's see what we got in the battery compartment. So here's our, let's see if I can get this for you guys. Sorry. Okay. There we go. So with this down here now, I got 13.71. I don't know, can you see that? Make sure y'all can see that, sorry. Turn these to the side so it lays better for you. 13.72. So it'll build. So I'll let this sit overnight and we'll see what she goes to, but it looks like it's all set running real good, running where we want. It definitely has the higher voltage coming out of it, which was what I was looking for. And now I just need to put my cover on it. Uh, it was a simple swip, swap out of the two, not a big deal. I think uh, anybody could do it. So that's uh, the second part in our series of uh, working on going it. The next one we'll be end up doing in is uh, putting putting this bad boy in. Uh, we'll be putting that in next with the Bluetooth monitor. And uh, we may also, I may also relocate the batteries to underneath, um, underneath the 
uh, seats at our table because this is inside and be warmer than it is down here. Um, not to mention that I did notice, uh, and here I'll give you guys a peek real quick, but this is real thin and the one side is actually, uh, getting loose over here. I don't know if you can see some light over there, but it's, it's getting loose. There's a crack. So I'll probably do that too. At some point, I'll be just happier to have the smaller batteries in it now taking care of it. But for those of you that were, uh, wondering about it, that's, that's the unit I went with. Um, I tried to put a link on it to Amazon. I don't, I don't get any money on it or anything. It's just to help people find what they're looking for and getting information. Uh, I'll put any links that I used. I think I got their website too. So, uh, if this helped you out, uh, give me a thumbs up or a like or something like that. I don't care if you subscribe or not. Um, but so subscribing helps too. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I've not made any money off YouTube yet. I just do it because this is what I do. I enjoy it. And I want to share with others so maybe they can use it. So, uh, you have a blessed day and thanks for watching. All right. So I, I ended up buying a second battery. Well, this is the second one. This is the original. So, um, I've, I've had it on the float charger and this is just a little tiny float charger. It doesn't, I think it does like two amps or something like that, but it's gotten it to 14.5 volts. It's been there for, uh, a day. So now I'm just going to make sure that the old one is uh, charged up all the way. So I'm going to put charger on there and there. And right now it's only saying, I don't know, can you guys, you guys probably can't read it. It says uh, 13.2. There it is, 13.2. So we'll let it sit and charge and see where it takes it to. Uh, I want to make sure it's completely full before I install it. So, All right, guys. I have done this uh, swap out now three times. This will be, well, actually, this will be, this will be my third time. Yeah. Uh, I've ordered this. It showed up. It didn't charge right. I returned it. Got another one. Put it in. It wasn't given the right charge parameters so i wrote a review online i called amazon they couldn't help me they the company that sent me this was supposed to reach out to me they never did so i put a review online uh that they probably didn't care for uh and then they sent me this one for free and i opened it up and i thought oh no they've they've sent me the same one again you know and then i opened it up and i found it look at that it says lithium on this one the other ones didn't say that on it so we're going to switch it out and see what the charge parameters look like now. All right, the new one's in. Let me see the stick around it in there. It's all wired up. I'm gonna get ready to turn on the power, plug it back in, and uh, see what it looks like. Uh, the old one's out. One of the things I noticed is this new one, I didn't have to uh, modify these holes to get it to fit. The holes were right. It had two little holes right there, just right for it. So that was good news. All right, this is the battery that just came off the charger. It's the brand new battery. And I'm just gonna see what the voltage reads now before I hook anything up to it. Sorry, let me get hands out of the way for you. 13.96. Now there may be uh, some small items drawing on it, uh, but that's what it's reading out here. Uh, also, this is an old meter, as you can tell. It's been beat up. Uh, it, uh, it may uh, be off a little. Thirteen point nine three. I just connected the battery to make sure. So, okay. All right. So I've set up the multimeter for you can see it, uh, and I'll just get a reading. I have it. I have the battery. I turn the battery off right now, and I'm getting. Maybe one volt there, one volt there. So shouldn't be getting anything over here. That that would be, or no, I should be getting some power over there. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camper power back on. Microwave went on. And now I'm gonna turn 
uh, before I turn the converter on, let's turn the power on to the battery and see what we have. So, thirteen point five six there, thirteen point five six there, five five, five five. Okay. Now I'll click on the inverter and let's see what we get. I don't hear the inverter running, but that doesn't mean anything. 14.55. So that's that's what I was looking for before was the 14.55. There we go. So now that, that inverter is putting out power like it should. And that's what we wanted. So that looks much better. I will uh, keep you updated if there's any issues with it or anything, but that that was what I was wanting to see and we weren't getting before. Um, right now, I don't hear the inverter running at all, so I won't know. I'll let you know when it does, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if this has helped you out any. I appreciate it.